Apple's declarative device management is a directional shift in how organizations manage their Apple devices. This new paradigm represents Apple's move towards desired state management with a focus on enhancing the experience for managed device users as well as IT admins. So let's take a moment to discuss the basics of declarative device management. Declarative device management was first introduced by Apple at their Worldwide Developer Conference in 2021, and they've announced support for expanded features and devices during each WWDC since. Declarative device management shifts the responsibility of policy management from the MDM servers to the device itself. Each device is autonomous and can apply management logic to itself in response to its own state changes. The device can proactively report any important state changes to the MDM servers, which eliminates the need for the servers to constantly pull the device for status updates. And DDM improves performance and scalability of Apple's MDM protocol by reducing the number of round-trip commands between the MDM servers and the device. Let's look at a quick example. An administrator creates an assignment to deploy an app to all corporate-owned iOS devices being managed by MDM. Using the legacy imperative MDM protocol, the MDM servers would send the command to each device. Then each device would return its own acknowledgement of the command. And then the servers would pull each device to check on the status of the app installation. And each device would respond with a status update indicating that the app is installing. This cycle would continue between each device and the servers until each device returns a status that states that the installation is completed successfully. Let's look at how this will work with declarative device management. Using the previous example of an app install, an IT admin creates a declaration to install an app to all corporate-owned iOS devices being managed by MDM. Using the DDM process, the MDM servers would send the command to each device. Each device would return its own acknowledgement of the command. Now this is where DDM differs from the legacy MDM mechanism. The device will execute the installation command as specified by the server. But unlike our previous example, the MDM servers do not continually pull the device for an update on the installation progress. The servers will wait for the device to return an acknowledgement that the app has been installed. So how can you use declarative device management with Workspace ONE UEM? Let's take a look. We start on the Profiles list view. We'll select Add and then Add Profile and select iOS. Now this is where things change a bit from what you might be used to. You see a new screen. Now here you can select whether you'd like to create an imperative profile or a new declaration. You'll select declarative as your management type, and then you're prompted to select between an asset or configuration. Uh, we're going to select configuration here, and for this example, we'll create a declarative passcode configuration. You'll see the declaration creation process is almost identical to that of the imperative profiles. We will fill out our passcode configuration and select Next. Then, we assign the passcode configuration to a smart group and select Save and Publish. Next, we'll create an asset declaration and then a configuration declaration that references that asset. Like before, we'll select Add, then Add Profile, and then iOS as our platform. After selecting Declarative, we'll leave Assets selected and press Next. Enter a name and configure the user identity asset. This asset defines a user's full name and email address. We'll use this asset with the Google account configuration here in just a moment. We'll fill out the asset, select Next, and then assign it to a smart group. Next, we'll create the Google account configuration. Following the same process as before, you'll select iOS, Declarative, and Configuration. We'll then add the Google Account Declaration. You'll notice that this declaration has a dropdown that is asking for an asset reference. When selecting the dropdown, you'll see the user identity asset we just created is displayed. Select this asset and press Next. You'll notice a new Referenced Asset section on the assignment page for the Google Account configuration. Since this configuration references an asset, we're dynamically pulling in the assignment information for that asset. This will make sure you're assigning both the asset and configuration to the same smart group. For more details about declarative device management, as well as how Omnissa has integrated Apple's new MDM paradigm into Workspace ONE UEM, scan this QR code to check out our primer on declarative device management on TechZone. 
For more about managing Apple devices with Workspace ONE UEM, check out techzone.omnisa.com.